Good morning guys, hope you're all okay, so it's me again, okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to be playing um, some more of our phonics and some of our games, but I'm just going to wait till we get a few more people logging in, having a look, and if you can, tell us where you're from, okay, and what nursery you go to, or what school you go to, that'd be brilliant, okay, so we'll have a quick look, so we've got a few people online already, which is brilliant, we've got four, so I just need to know who you are, where, where are you watching from? It'd be lovely to know. So if you want to, remember, don't be afraid. We can do shout outs and things like that. That'd be lovely. Got 20 of you in now. Don't be shy, guys. Tell me where you're from. Tell me who's watching. Hello, Lily from Bolton. Hello, Jude from Claypool. <laughs> Madison from Heaton Dean. Hi, Madison. Oliver from Rivington. Hi, guys. In the Isle of Man. Brilliant. Hello. From Wesley. Brilliant. Fantastic. A lot of my, my children from Wesley. Oh, Charlotte from Lost Stock. Horwich. Hello, guys. Alan from Whitley Woods. Lily from Wesley. Hello, Lily. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do, okay, we will get started. So what we're going to do today, we're going to look at some of our phonics, especially from some of the ones from Wesley. I don't think you guys have done this with me before. So this is our Actifon session where we're going to do some phonics and we're going to do some games as well. So we have one of our characters today. And today we are going to be dribbling Ming, okay? So we're going to be dribbling Ming. So this is dribbling Ming, okay? What do you think she likes to do? So have a look at her picture. What does Dribbling Ming like to do? What do you think she likes to play? So what's she doing in her picture? So if you can write down on the comments what you think she likes to play, that would be brilliant. Tell your grown-up. So what's she doing in her picture? What's she playing? Let's see if anybody's got it. Hello, Finley from West Arton. So... Dribbling Ming likes to play hockey, okay? So she loves to play lots and lots of hockey games, which is what we are going to do today, even though we're in our front rooms. So we're going to do some Dribbling Ming games. Do you think you can say her name, okay? So can we all say Dribbling Ming? So one, two, three. Dribbling Ming. Well done. And again, one, two, three. Dribbling Ming. Well done. One more time. One, two, three. Dribbling Ming. Brilliant. Who can say it the loudest for me, guys? So who can say Dribbling Ming the loudest? So one, two, three. Dribbling Ming. Well done. Who can say it the quietest? So one, two, three. Dribbling Ming. Okay. Fantastic. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do some Dribbling Ming games. We're going to play some Dribbling Ming games. And we need to learn her sound. So who thinks they know what Dribbling Ming's sound is? Who can write that in the comments for me? So who thinks they know what Dribbling Ming's sound is? I'll give you a quick second to have a think. Tell your grown-up. If you want to, you can write it down in the comments. That would be brilliant as well. So Dribbling Ming's sound is a ng. A ng. So that's the sound we get when we have a n and a g. When they come together, it makes a ng sound, okay? So we've got our ng sound. Do you think you can make that to your mum and dad? You can make my ng sound. So one, two, three, ng. So you need to put your tongue at the top of your mouth and we've got to try and stretch it out a little bit. So one, two, three, ng. Well done. And again, one, two, three, ng. Okay, well done. Can you guys think of any words that have my ng sound in? I'll give you a bit of a clue. When, we're, when we've got our ng and our g sound together and they make that ng sound, usually they'll come in the middle of the word or they'll come at the end of a word. So they don't usually come at the start, okay? So can you tell me any words that have got that ng sound on there? So if you want to, I'd love you to write them down and I'll have a quick look. Well done, Betty. Ring, fantastic. Thing from Reuben. Hello, Henry. Daisy says ring, brilliant. Can we think of any more? What other words do we have? 
Then for say song, well done, oh, Devon, well done Devon. For song, can we think of any more? So we've got song, we've got ring, well done. Oh, we've got king, that's a fantastic one. Can we think of any more? Bring, brilliant superstars. So we've got all these amazing different words that have that ng mm sound, okay? I've got some more though. So we've got, we've got our magic word today and that's going to be amazing. So we've got again, amazing. So if you've got our magic word, you've got to put your thumbs up and you've got to give yourselves a bit of a wiggle, okay? So do you think you can do that for me guys? So if I say amazing today, you need to put thumbs up and I want a wiggle, 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 okay? So, oh, we've got some more, some super ones. So, Pong, and uh, we've got Kissing. We've got Bling, I like that one. And Singing, super. So, what we're going to do now, guys, because you've come up with some fantastic words there, we're going to listen to our Dribbling Ming song, okay? So, we're going to have some actions, but we'll listen to it first. So, make sure you've got your ears on. Are you ready? So, one, two, three, and we'll start it. Dribbling Ming. So we've got her name up to now. It says her name quite a lot. So what I want you to pretend you're doing is I want you to pretend you're being Dribbling Ming. And what's she doing in her picture? She's hitting the ball. So whenever you hear Dribbling Ming, you've got to try and swing and hit the ball. Okay, so Dribbling Ming, you've got to hit it. So we'll start it again. Dribbling So Dribbling got to hit it. And again. So you're going to keep hitting it. Dribbling Dribbling So you're swinging. What did she have to do then? She was training hard. So you guys have got to pretend you're training. You've got to put your arms out, pretend you're running. Okay, so we've got training. Then there's another word there. So we're training. So we've got to aim. We're aiming as well. So we're training and we're aiming. So if you're aiming, I want you to point somewhere. Like you're going to try and hit the ball over there. So you've got to be training and then you're aiming as well. Okay, so we've got training, we've got aiming. Can we think of any more? Oh, there was one just there as well. So we're training, we're aiming, ready for the swing. So can you guys swing your hockey stick? Okay, so we've got to swing our hockey stick as hard as you can. Make sure you're not hitting anyone in the face though. Okay, so we've got training, we've got aiming, and we've got swing. Okay. So there's a couple more there. So there was swing and bang. So when you hit that ball, it might make a big bang. And what I want you guys to do there is you've got to jump up. So we've got swing and then we've got swinging and it makes a bang. So I need a big jump. So we've got swing and then bang. And then what else have we got? Running down the ring, uh, around the ring, ring. So we've got to pretend we're hitting on dribbling Ming. So, dribbling Ming, we've heard her name again. Ming, dribbling Ming. So we're going to keep hitting it. So there's a few there, there was aiming, there was swinging, there was hitting. And I think there was another one, but I can't remember if you put it back a tiny bit. So I think there's about four different words there. So there's about four or five there. So there's dribbling, swinging. Can you guys hear them? What else did we have there? We had zinging. We had swinging. We had quite a few. So we're going to do all those dance moves together. Okay, so you've got to be up on your feet. We've got dribbling Ming, we've got to pretend we're hitting it. We've got training, we've got aiming, we've got swing, and we've got bang as well, haven't we? And running. So we're running down the wing. Trying to get that one right. So are we ready, dribbling Mings? So one, two, three. Dribbling So we've got to pretend we're hitting it. Dribbling So we're dribbling with it. Dribbling Ming. Ming. Dribbling Ming. Well done. So we're training, training, ready for the swing, swing, swing and bang, running down, running down the wing. So dribbling me, don't tell me it's a bit.
this one. So Amy, Sweeney, Kishan, and Morrissey. We've got loads there. Brilliant. Well done, guys. So let's see if any of you guys could get those last ones. Brilliant, so we've got some quite a few. We've got Ping, that's a fantastic one. We've got Raining, that's a brilliant one. It always rains near me. Can we think of any more? Got Singing, brilliant, okay? So what we're going to do now, dribbling means, is we're going to build some words. So you came up with some fantastic ones there. So we're going to build our own words. And remember, what was our magic word? Who can remember that? It was amazing. So if I say amazing, thumbs up, and I've got to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So when we're building our words, we need to make sure we've got a nice big area. If you've got your things on the floor, that would be fantastic. I'll put them next to the camera so you can see. So I've got my sounds. I'll just move you guys down here so you can see. There we go. Try and make that camera. So what sound have we got today? Who are we being? We're being dribbling Ming. And it's a Ming sound. You there, then we've got our, what sounds that? We've got our, oh, er, then we've got some more here that I'll stand up in a minute. Okay, so the first word we're going to do, oh, don't need that one. First word we're going to do is going to be song, song. So who can help me do the word song? So I'll give you a quick minute to think of what sounds we need to do the word song, okay? So what do we need for song? What's the first sound? So try and sound it out for song. So s-o-ng. So give you a minute and I'm going to start trying to build it as well. So the first sound I need is a s. Well done if you've got that one right. Then we need what? It's a Oh, 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 and then we need our ng, okay? So we need song. Budge you up a bit so you can see. So can we all make that sound, okay? Can we all make that word together? So move these out of the way. So we've got song, so s, oh, ng, song, and then we put them all together. So again, one, two, three, s, oh, ng, song, and then we put them together. One last time, can we make our sounds really, really quickly this time? So one, two, three, so s, o, ng, song, well done. Right, should we try and build another one? So the next one we're going to do is your grown-up next to you might be wearing a ring, a ring. So who can help me build the word ring? So we've had song, now we need ring. Who can help me do the word ring? So have a quick think, what sounds do we need? So pop some out. Get them all ready. So the first one we need for ring is going to be a er, a er, and we've got our er sound there. Then what's next for ring? Er, i, i, i. Okay, so er, i, and then what's next? It's our ng. So can we see where our ng sounds usually coming in a word? It usually comes at the end, but it can come in the middle as well. Okay, so ring. Can we all make this sound then? So can we all make our sounds, make our words? So one, two, three. R, I, ng, ring. Okay, and then again, so one, two, three. R, I, ng, ring. One more time, one, two, three. R, I, ng, ring. Well done, guys. So what we'll do, we'll do one last one because you're doing so well with them. If you guys can think of any other words, in a minute you can write them down in the comments as well. So the next one we're going to do is when we hit that ball with our hockey stick, it might make a big bang, bang. So who can help me build the word bang? So I'm going to have a quick drink. Can you guys do it while I'm having my drink? So for bang, please let me know if you've managed to build these words as well at home. That would be fantastic. So for bang, we need b, b, b. Okay, we need a a, a, a. And then what's our last one? Who can tell me? For bang, b, a, ng, b, a, ng. So can we please make our sound? So are you ready? So one, two, three, b, a, ng, bang. And again, so one, two, three, b, a, ng, bang. One more time, one, two, three, b, 
Ah, mm, bang, well done. Superstars. So you guys are doing amazing. So what we're gonna do for amazing, thumbs up, and then a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Well done, it's our magic word. So what we're gonna do, dribbling mings, is we're gonna get ready to play some games now. So even though we're still, well, like me, we're in our front rooms, can't go outside, what we're going to do, we're still gonna play some dribbling ming games. So move you back up here so you can see what we're going to do. There we go. So what type of games did we say dribbling Ming likes to play? What type of games is she playing? So she's playing hockey, isn't she? Okay, so it's a game where you've got to hit the ball with your hockey stick. Okay, if you've got a hockey stick, brilliant. Try not to break anything inside. If you've got a ball, even better. Try not to break anything though. But if you've not got those things, you might have to use, like what I'm going to use, a pair of rolled up socks, and I'm gonna use a cushion as my hockey stick, okay? So those are the two things you really need. So you need your hockey stick or your cushion or you need a pair of rolled up sock, uh, socks as your ball, okay? And it's all about hitting the ball today and moving with it, so dribbling with it. So dribbling is when you've got control of the ball and you're hitting it in different directions, okay? So, and as well, what we might need later on is if you've got any empty water bottles, okay, that would be perfect as well because they're going to turn into some of our obstacles or they might even turn into a target, okay? So, are we ready to play some games dribbling mings? Yeah? Brilliant. So, up we get. I'm going to move you over here so you can see what we're going to do. Hopefully that's still the right angle. There we go. So, the first game, all I want us to do is we're going to practice hitting that ball, okay? So, if you've not got the ball, remember, if you've got your sock, that's fine as well. What I want you to do, you put your ball or your sock there. You're going to get your arms nice and straight. You're going to stand sideways to the ball and you're going to twist your tummy and you've got to swing your arms and hit the sock. Okay, so do you think you can do that for me, guys? Have a quick practice. So you've got to try and hit that sock. Okay, well done. So what we're going to do now is because that's too easy. I'm sure you can all do that. We're gonna make it a little bit harder. I'm gonna challenge you, okay? So I've got my start position here, and what I've got to do, I've got to try and hit the wall, okay? So I've got to try and do a big swing, so I've got lots of space here, okay? So I can do a big swing, and I can try and hit the ball. So I'm doing a big hit this one. So are you ready? I'll give you a 30 second practice. What you've got to do, you've got to hit the wall, then you've got to hit it back to where you started, then you've got to hit it back, and we're going to see how many times you can do this. So are you ready, dribbling mings? So who can do the most? Who can hit it as quick, who can hit it the most to each side of the room? So off we go. So this is your practice. You've got to swing and hit it. So swing, so that's one for me. Quickly get back there. Two. Put it back where you need to be. Three. Then back across. So you're swinging your arms, that's four, five, oh, quick, and about five seconds left, six, and time. Well done, guys. So who managed to beat my score? So I think I got about five or six. Who managed to beat me? Let's have a look. Write down if you managed to beat my score. Who could swing it more than me? Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, guys. Thank you for watching. So, Madison, you got six. You got the same as me. Well done. In fact, you might have even got one more than me. Well done. So, that was our practice. What we're going to do now, now it's our competition. So, who's going to get the most dribbling means? Okay, so 30 seconds. Who can hit it from one wall to the other? Are you ready? So, get set up. And three, two, one, go. So, who's going to beat their score that they've already got? So swing and hit it, then go back to the other side, swing and hit it, so I'm on two. Who's going to be able to do some amazing swings? Who's, keep, who's trying their hardest? So I'm on about three, four, oh quick, there's five seconds left. Oh, and keep going, and time. Put your things down. 
Okay, not any cheaters. How many did we get there, guys? How many did we get? Who managed to beat their score? So let's have a look. Who managed? So we've got eight. Well done. We've got plenty of sixes. Devon, well done. Six. Daisy, seven. Superstars. Joe, eight. Nicola King, eight. Well done. Fantastic. Superstars. So this time, I'm going to make it a lot harder. So if you need to, get a quick drink. Because if you're like me, I'm getting out of breath quite easily. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to set up a mini obstacle course now, guys. So it's still the same. We still need our hockey stick. We still need our ball. But what we're going to do is this is where your water bottles come in handy. But if you've not got water bottles, you can use your cushions, okay? And you're just going to set up a mini obstacle course. So put them so you can walk through them quite easily okay and then you've got your next one again what you can walk through quite easy because we don't want to be knocking them over all the time but quite annoying if you do that so what you've got to do you've got your hockey ball got your hockey stick this time instead of swinging as hard as you can what you might need to do is you might need to do some tiny taps Okay, so you're going to do some smaller swings and you're going to do some tiny taps hitting it through. So we want nice controlled movements. And how many times can you go around them? Okay, so when we're doing it, we'll keep our knees nice and bent and tiny, tiny hits. Okay, so we'll do a quick practice. So got to get them through a quick practice, a 30 second practice again, and then we'll see who can do it for real in the competition. So are we ready guys? So three, two, one, off we go. So tiny, tiny taps, tiny, tiny taps. Oh, try not to knock your obstacles down. If you're struggling with the pillow or the cushion, what you can do is you can go back to it and use your hand, okay? So if you need to, you can use your hand to tap it across and around. So I think I'm on about three or four. I've got 20 seconds left. So make sure your legs are nice and bent and time, okay? So how many are we get in our practice? Let's have a look. We're finding that tricky. So remember, bend your legs so, you, uh, so your back isn't bending all the way down, okay? Brilliant. So got some fantastic scores on there. Well done, Brody. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to get straight into it now. So this is our competition. Who's going to be able to get round? the most, as many times as they can. So are we ready? Dribbling Mings. So 30 seconds, get to your start point. Remember, if it's hard using a cushion, just use your hand to tap it across. So one, two, three, off we go. So who can get it through the most? So I've got them through one, got them through two. So bend those legs, three, four for me. Oh, five up, oh, but I'm not one over. Six. Oh, I'm too big for this one. Seven. And time, guys. So who managed to beat me? So I got around six or seven. Who's managed to beat me? I'm sure plenty of you have. Who's done amazing? So remember, amazing our magic words. Thumbs up and then a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Superstars. So this is going to be our last game now. So if you want to, get yourselves a quick drink. Okay, and then after that, I'll tell, us, tell you guys what we're going to be doing. So when we're playing dribbling mings, netball, uh, not netball, hockey games, what we've got to do is usually you have a goal to score in. Okay, so you've got to try and whack the ball into the goal. Okay, but this time... We're going to use our bottles, okay, and it's going to be a bit of target practice. So you're going to put your bottles on one side of the room, you guys have got to go and stand at the other side of the room, and we're going to see who can get the most points. So I've got three bottles there. I'm going to use this one, so I've got four. So I've got four targets that I've got to try and knock down, okay, with my sock and my hockey stick. Remember, if you can, if use a cushion if you don't want to use a cushion can you try and roll it down okay so you've got to try and roll it down so are we ready dribbling mings so 30 second practice you've got to try and knock them down 
If you can, with a cushion and a pillow where you're swinging and trying to hit it. So are we ready? So one, two, three, off we go. So our practice. So ball on the floor, get your swing ready and swing. Oh, managed to get two. I think it's a bit of a cheat coming off the wall though. So put it back, get back down, have another swing. So get yourself ready and swing and try and hit. Oh, so I'm on two up to now. I've got five seconds left. And then swing again. So one, two, three, and swing. Oh, I got one then. So freeze. That is your time up. That's your practice done. Okay. So set your targets up. Remember, it doesn't have to be a bottle if you've not got them. It could be trying to hit a cushion. Or if you've got mum and dad there, they could stand like that and you've got to try and get it through their legs. Okay. So there's loads of different ways we can do it. So who's going to beat my score of three? Okay, so I've got three in my practice. Who's going to beat me now? Okay, so I'm ready. So three, two, one, off you go, dribbling mins. Who's going to get the most score? So you just got to keep whacking, keep swinging. So I've got one straight away. Oh, I've got two. Who's doing amazing? Oh, I've got three. And then, oh, still on three. Oh, and then time. Stop where you are, guys. So who managed to beat my score of three? Put you guys back here. Okay. So I'll give you a quick minute to go and have a quick rest and to tidy up your mess. Okay, because I'm sure you like me and I'm sure you've made loads. Okay, let's have a quick drink, get yourself set up, have a rest, do some deep breaths, okay, and then we'll finish off. But you've done absolutely amazing today, guys. From some of the scores that I've seen there, you've done very, very well. Oh, so we've got 10. Well done. Superstars, we've got loads of scores there. Well done, Nell. Well done, Oliver. Well done, Sam. Well done, 10 from Brody. Super. Well done, guys. Doing super. So, who have we been today? Who can remember who we've been? Can you tell your mum and dad? Can you tell your grown-up who you're sat with? Who have we been today? Who was our active on? Who was my friend? So, today we've been dribbling Ming. Okay? Dribbling Ming. So, if this is dribbling Ming, what did she like to do? She liked to dribble with the hockey, bo uh, hockey ball, didn't she? Because we were playing hockey. Okay, so we've been dribbling Ming. Can we all say her name? So one, two, three, dribbling Ming. Well done. And then can we all say it even louder? So one, two, three, dribbling Ming. Well done. And then who can say it nice and quiet? So one, two, three, dribbling Ming. Well done. Who can remember what her sound was? Okay. So who can remember what her sound was? It was a, quickly tell your grown-up and I'll turn it round. So dribbling Ming sound was a ng sound. So that's the sound we get when we have a ng and a g. When they go, when they're together, we get our ng. Okay, so can we all make that sound? So one, two, three, ng. And again, so one, two, three, ng. Well done. Can you tell your mum your mom and dad some words with that ng sound? So can you tell your grown-up some ng words? Okay, so can you try and tell them three? So what did we listen to at the start? We listened to a song, okay? What have you guys done today? What was our magic word? Who can remember that? It was amazing. So we've got amazing, we've got song, and then can we think of any more? What were you all doing during the games? You were all trying. So we've got trying as well, okay? So we've got all those different words with that ng mm sound. If any of you can tell, uh, think of any more and write them in the comments, that would be absolutely fantastic. I love seeing the words that you guys are coming up with because a lot of the time, the words I've not thought up, okay? So you're doing really, really well. And then didn't we have king as well? Oh, well done. Fantastic, Nicole King, <laughs> okay? So, well done, guys. What we'll do is we will listen to our song one more time, okay? And then I will finish the video. But you've all done very, very well. 
If you want to join in with some more games, we have our sister page, which is Elite Coaching Solutions, and I will be doing a bit of uh, some more exercises and some more games at one o'clock if you're available for that. Okay, so that's on the Elite Coaching Solutions site, um, Facebook page. So if you can make your way over to that at one o'clock, I'd love to see you there as well. Okay, so well done for today, Dribbling Mings. You've done super, you've done amazing. We'll listen to our song and then we'll call it a day. Okay, so thank you guys. And then are we ready? So one, two, three. So we're going to try and swing. Dribbling then what was the next one? So we were training, we were training, ready for the swing, swing and bang, running down the wind, dribbling ling, so we're going to hit it, dribbling ling, well done, so dribbling ling again, ling, dribbling ling, fantastic, what's this one? So aiming, Fantastic, well done guys. Okay, so again, I'll hope to see you again tomorrow morning at the same time, so 10 o'clock. Have a lovely day, stay safe again guys. Bye.